Well, the difference is that I can believe that somebody's wrong and I can argue with them without believing they're being unreasonable. I do it with you, no, no, and I would do it with you. So, what did I say? When I asked you about the, uh, do you accept the evidence, do you deny the evidence about existence, or do you um, deny God? Yes, yes. Yeah? Yeah. So just to determine your stance. Yeah, this is not yeah. part of my argument, it's just to determine your stance. Yeah, yeah. You quite rightly said, yeah. quite fairly said, yeah. quite reasonably said, yeah. I don't uh, deny God. I can't I can't deny God exists, but I don't believe the evidence of God's existence. So I don't believe God exists, but I don't think you're being I mean with your words, I don't think you've been unreasonable for what you just said to me why you it's accept. Thought, it's a different right. opinion than I think uh, uh, life. Right. Oh, I, see, I, I think Facebook life. Yeah, yeah. But, but if the atheist then technology nowadays, huh? Yeah, I know. I still don't understand that. <laughs> I don't think anybody does. No, I don't understand. Right. Earnestly, to, to right. be illuminated. Right. So then you could then be influenced by what he says then to make me unreasonable again. Well, he could convince me that you were unreasonable. He could convince me that I was wrong to say that you were reasonable. Right. But at the moment, he hasn't done that. No, no. Because you concluded from what I've said to you yes. that I'm reasonable. Yeah, but they say he's might right, be right. brilliant. He might, might show me that you're completely mad. I don't think he will. I don't think you are mad. But he might be able to. So I will give him his chance. The point here is this: I'm trying to establish. Yeah. And I hope the atheists are watching this. Yes. Regularly attending. Yes. I think you will agree. It's unreasonable to go around speaker's corner, going up to people and telling them they're unreasonable for accepting uh, the universe had a cause. No, people do this all the time to each other. No, no, Our no. speakers call them. But it's unreasonable and it doesn't make any sense. No, if you can do it, it's a challenge. It says, look, uh, I... No, 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 it's not a challenge. I'll tell you why it's not a challenge. Because if you go around saying, this doesn't exist, that doesn't exist, this doesn't exist, then you have now a burden of proof upon you. And maybe he can discharge it. Well, you're I don't know. God doesn't exist. He might be able to do it. I don't know. I've not met him, but he may be able to. So I wouldn't judge him as unreasonable. As long as you agree, yes. as it stands right now, yes. that for me to accept the idea that the universe had a cause, yes. and that cause is something yes. with outside of the universe, yes. which independent of the yes. universe, yes. that's conscious, yes. has to be conscious. Mm -hmm. Do you accept that? Well, no, I could imagine that there was some thing outside the universe that wasn't conscious, that nevertheless in some way was responsible for it. I could see that as a position that somebody... So something outside of the universe not conscious? Yes, that might be But then if something wasn't conscious, wouldn't its effect be uh, immediate? Wouldn't the thing that caused the universe need to be infinite? Really? The universe is big, it would be bigger than that. Because if it's not infinite, then that requires a cause. Oh yeah, then there might be somebody else, something else outside. Yeah, but then we're yeah. just about infinite. Oh well, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've already been there. Anyway, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> it took me a bit technical, man. But, you know, very nice, very nice. Talk. As long as you accept that I'm not being unreasonable. Sorry. You know, I don't. Well, you we're know, back. You yeah. Yeah. Now, if you want to challenge the Quran, I'll happily that we're here. <laughs> Perhaps we'll do that next week with better weather. Inshallah. Yeah. yeah. What's your name, Alex? Alex. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm moving now. Okay, I'm moving around. No problem. <laughs> Sorry? How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hamza, Asalaamu As Alaikum. What was the conversation about? I got in there a bit late. <laughs> Basically, it was uh, this guy we started with. And okay. it was with regards. Um, I just wanted to get atheists to understand yep. that they have no logical, intellectual, reasonable right to come to the park on a Sunday, walking around, speaking to people who believe in the idea of a cause of the universe, saying they're crazy, they're mad for believing such a thing. As I've just shown in this video now, that um, it's reasonable, according to what we know, of, what we know, Sarah loves that word, no, what we know that nothing that came into existence begins to exist, with, um, had did so without a cause. Therefore, if the universe did begin to exist, as most of the cosmological scientists, we've said Krauss, we've said Hawkins, we've said some foreign guy, no, what one thing is, um, and we can throw Einstein, we can throw Hubble and such into the, into the mix. They all agree the universe is finite and had a beginning. Then according to what we know, if something, anything that begins to exist requires a cause. So the question next has to be, what is the cause of said universe? And what was his stance? He, he interrupted, um, and he, he went, what was he challenging? I don't know, you'll have to watch the video for him. <laughs> he, he went everywhere into infinite regression and all, all of these things. But, um, he, was very, he was reasonable. We use that word a lot. Well, the, the whole point I wanted to make, and I've wanted to make for a long time, there's two types of atheists. If you're an atheist that walks around saying, I don't believe God exists, we have no issue with you. That just means you have, an, uh, I have a set of criteria to accept the existence of God. 
Yeah? And if you have no criteria to accept the existence of God, you have no criteria to reject the existence of God. So you need to have something, something we can now... Also, your criteria for evidence needs to be logical. <laughs> so you can't say, oh, I can't see God, so it doesn't exist, because that's illogical, because there are things we can't see, and also we know things we can see can't be trusted, because you just watch Dynamo, David Blaine, and they'll fool your eyes. Your senses can easily be tricked. So we can't trust what we sense and what we see, so it's an illogical proof that you're requiring. So, and then you have the atheist who denies God's existence. So you've got the ones who say, I don't believe God exists, and the, and the ones who are around saying, you're deluded, you're irrational for believing God exists. Because now they're making a claim now. It's gone from a statement, I don't accept God exists, to a claim, God doesn't exist. Now if you make a claim, the burden of proof now is on you. So you have to have good reason now to say God doesn't exist. And if you have no good reason to say it, then why are you saying it? Sounds like a quagmire. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Would you agree with that? I have the something to do with the weather. So that, that's, that's I, I do actually, that, that is more or less my position. Which is what? Uh, as you've just outlined. You don't accept God exists. The evidence. I, after all, all the thought I've given to it, I don't see any good reason to believe in the kind of God that is described by the likes of yeah. and, and this was and other, I, other theories. But on the other hand, I always, and I'm on video saying this, I will not go around claiming that there is no such thing as God. Fantastic. <coughs> um, I mean, the interest, I just caught the end of that discussion, so the discussion about what is reasonable and not. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. a discussion. Is there such a thing as an objective criteria? I think, what is now? The, the guy you were talking to. Alex. Yeah. Alex. It, it seems to suggest say that. Alex, is it? Yeah. Um, that his judgment of what is reasonable can change if given sufficient evidence and reason. So, so there's no, no objective. I suppose, you, I suppose there's a reasonably objective criterion of being utterly unreasonable. In fact, when the atheist comes along and almost, or, 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 or the theist says, there is a God, or the atheist says, there is no God, in a, if they leave it at that, they're both being unreasonable. They're not using reason to back up their... No, no, no. But the point is, <coughs> we're saying we believe in the existence of a creator, that we exist as a first cause. We, that we believe in the existence of a... Now, this word believe, um, I have to do this for the benefit of the camera. Okay. Because in the part... No, no, I knew as well. <laughs> this word belief, I had a debate with Sarah, and I want to clear this up. Yeah. And um, I took the word belief off the table, yeah? Because I changed it to accept. Now, the reason I did that was because the word belief has loaded connotation. So when you say belief, you automatically start thinking fairies, unicorns and such, yeah? Fantasy things. But the reality is this is a false loaded connotation. Now, some people can't be trusted with the word. So you have to leave it out of the conversation, yeah. right? But the reality is this. The word belief is synonymous with convinced by, trust, have faith in. Can I add to that? I think belief also involves the recognition that you might be proved wrong. For example, I could say, I believe a number 10 bus will be along in right. 10 minutes. I might be wrong, you know. What if I said to you, at 15 years old, I climbed Mount Everest with my dad? Do you believe me? Um, you're 50. Sorry, did you say you're 50 years old? 15. Oh, 15, sorry. Would you, 15. you believe me? Um, I, I don't know you well enough. Are you well convinced enough. by what I, I said? I don't know you well enough. I'll have to. No, it's that reason, isn't it? To judge whether right. you. If I could have, I couldn't have. Tell porkies or not. Right. I mean, after time, I might. No, right, actually, I'm making the claim. You, I'm making the claim. Now. I'm going to make the claim. I, I see you around Speaker's Corner. I don't when know When I was 15 personally. years old, I know I'm out Everest with my dad. I'm not disbelieving you. So, being a trusting sort of guy, I said, yeah. yeah. I did it. Oh dear, now you've blown my <laughs> well, the image of it. From now on, I no, won't believe no, anything I, I could have asked the same question like this. Do you yeah. accept I climbed Mount Everest when I was 15? Now, you could ask me, prove you did. Yeah? Prove you did. I said, well, I had a certificate that they gave me, but it burned in a house fire. So I, I can't prove yeah. it. Yeah. But that doesn't mean I never climbed Mount Everest. Okay. Yeah. Right? So, and here, here's what people have to understand, especially here in Speaker's Corner, because they use this word belief a lot and they think it means yeah. fantasy. Okay. If, if I make a claim, yeah. and, it, and, and who is it? Is it, is it um, if someone makes an extraordinary claim, they require extraordinary evidence or something like that? Carl Sagan. David Hume. Oh, was Carl Sagan. David Hume, about was two it? centuries. 
no, was no, it no, Carl, Carl, Carl Sagan? Carl Sagan. Oh, quoting David right. Hume. <laughs> if I make an extraordinary claim, yeah. Yeah. and I can't produce any evidence to support that claim, it doesn't mean my claim is wrong. It just means you don't accept the claim. Now, if I produce evidence to support my claim, yeah. Subhan.